I think visiting Kelmscott Manor um, is one of the best ways in which we can understand how Morris's imagination worked, his visual imagination in terms of the inspiration that the house and its surroundings provided for his work as a designer. Uh, obviously, many, many patterns which were probably quite explicitly inspired by the plants and, and birds, etc., that he saw at Kelmscott. But more profoundly, I think it was living at Kelmscott and being the tenant there that really brought home to Morris that buildings can embody the past. And um, in almost a spiritual way, Morris was not a religious person, but if he comes closest in a way to a, a spiritual dimension in his, uh, his relationship with buildings. And Calcott Manor was certainly the building with which he had the closest possible relationship. The stones, the timber, I think for him always contained the spirit of the people who had put the uh, building together.